So here's trusty no gas. So I didn't charge it last night, of course, because it's got plenty of juice in it still. Uh, we don't charge it every night. So okay, so so what if I do need need electric? Suppose I forgot to charge up, and I, you know I didn't charge up enough, and all of a sudden I have to go someplace. Well, there's electricity everywhere. And it isn't like it isn't like it's a scarce commodity like gasoline that needs a big old refinery to refine it. You know, every house just about has electric power and you know it's just a matter of hooking up to it. This is yet another one of these homes where you really can't tell that there are solar panels on the roof uh, but you can see of course the charger in the, in the right there. So now I'm using I'm running the air conditioner you know it's actually not an air conditioner it's a heat ex heat pump. Um, it doesn't take that much power and it's, it's a really hot day today but uh, we see that actually there's a lot of traffic on this street. It's not the freeway, but you know, there's just a lot of cars everywhere. And don't forget, wherever there are cars, there's auto exhaust. And wherever there's auto exhaust, there's noxious fumes and there's, you know, acid. Sulfurous acid, nitric acid, and uh, carbon monoxide, and, and other additives that go in gasoline. Wherever there are cars, and this stuff comes, you know, wherever it comes out of the cars, it blows downwind, it sits where it is, and it doesn't, it doesn't disappear, you know, so maybe you don't see it. Maybe the wind carries it away to someplace else, but cars someplace else carry it to where you are. This, these panels are somewhat, somewhat invisible, but, you know, you can still see them. And I think people should be happy when they can see them because, you know, you should be proud that you're actually powering five or ten of your neighbors.